then uh, you can also join us on Twitter tonight. We're going to be looking at uh, the Twitter trends because Koku Anyidoho, the Deputy uh, General Secretary of the National Democratic Congress, the position National Democratic Congress, is trending. His arrest comes on the back of his comments and Nanel Kufado will be overthrown in a civilian coup. He was picked up by the CID of the Ghana Police Service during a news conference. Now he has been formally charged with treason. We went out onto the streets to ask you what you make of his arrest. And this was before he was uh, formally charged with treason. I think the comment is very uncalled for and we must all condemn it with um, the efforts it deserved. And one angle I want to tackle is the fact that people have gathered in front of the police station and, you know, trying to demonstrate sort of... I think it's, it's something that is not good for our democracy because um, when an individual goes contrary to the laws and offends the law, I think the law must deal with the person. And this attitude of having people, party folks, coming to sort of confront the police against a person who has been arrested, I think it's a very barbaric act and we must all condemn it. Actually, what the man said is a kind of fear and panic because seeing all this thing can cause the public to, you know, to fear, will not even be comfortable living in their own country because you can't just stand up or just wake up one morning and say a thing that can cause a war in a country. So I think it's very bad and threatening. It's not in the right direction because well, I'm not politicizing it, but listening to um, the utterances that he made, I don't think it's in the good state. And I think, I mean, he been called for all the questions and other things. He needs to answer for them. All right, so we get on to Twitter, and as I indicated earlier, Koku Anyedoho, the Deputy General Secretary of the Opposition National Democratic Congress, he's trending. And so if you go there, you will see Koku Anyedoho uh, being number one on the Twitter trends. If uh, David can just show that on screen right now. Okay, so there we have a Koku Anyedoho, and he's trending with, what, some 3,925 tweets. And then you see... Uh, Joy News also trending, and of course, Joy News will be trending because we have been providing you extensive coverage of uh, this story. It's been a pretty fluid story, started from afternoon, and it's been trending all day. There have been several developments. The very latest is that Koku Anindo has been formally charged with uh, treason. So let's get to your comments having to do with what he's had to say, Koku Anindo had to say and the comments that has gotten him into trouble. We're going to be reading your comments now. And uh, we have, we have uh, Kwesi Boateng Efa says, I'm very disappointed in my MPP. Uh, why should they arrest him today? They should have arrested him on Thursday evening and put him before uh, bars for him to enjoy, behind bars for him to enjoy the holidays in the cells. By then, when he comes out, he would weigh every word that comes out of his mouth before speaking. And uh, James Abusanga says, the police picking him up uh, to ask him questions pertaining to his assertion is right. But the NDC support said you should understand that millions of Ghanaians are listening and watching them exhibit support for wrongful actions of their members as hundreds of NDC members storm the law courts for Pune, whilst hundreds of them also storm the CID headquarters for and you know, wrong is wrong, no matter what, no matter the solidarity. Inusa Bamba says nothing, just that the right thing is being done in a very matured manner. Kudos to the CID. NDC uh, should probably say, uh, stop kidding around. Uh, Bill Clinton says you can't go beyond the line because freedom, because of freedom of speech. Abraham Smith said that this means that you can't just dissect your mouth and say what you want and go free. Macmillan Okai says, good move, no one is above the law. Alassane Hangba says, hmm, these politicians. Jephthah says, he is a lucky man. How can you remember someone of his father's uh, downfall and walk freely? Uh, Avogno says, I don't have a problem about with his arrest, but the refusal of the bill is my worry. And Bill Clinton comes in again. If NDC think they can make Ghana better, they should have done it in their prime time. Patrick Andor says, let him 
give let's give him some lashes and leave him. Canes are good for nation bro. <laughs> All right, now a group calling itself Ghana First Patriotic Front, together with the NDC, will tomorrow organize a demonstration against the ratification of the Ghana US Military Pact Agreement. Now, what do you make of their decision to embark on the protest, and do you think it will make any difference? For me, I think that kind of demonstration is not good. If we, the Ghanaians, we embark on demonstration, then we are trying to cause harm to ourselves. Yes, because if you don't understand this kind of issue, the president has made a decision. Fine, let's all wait and see what will happen next. We shouldn't have to just come out and say anything we want. Yes. Oh, for now, I cannot tell anything because nobody knows tomorrow. Maybe it can be of help to the nation. Maybe it can cause harm to the nation. So let's all relax and see what will happen in the next day, if God permits. According to the Public Order Act, if someone wants to embark on any demonstration, I think he or she is entitled to do so. So it lies within their purview to do that. So do you think Difference, well, I don't think, well, I don't believe it's going to yield any positive results because, I mean, where they've gotten to in terms of the agreement, I think it's, it's a dandel. Because the citizens have the right to demonstrate if they think something is not going on okay. as they expect. But I will plead with them to make sure they go to recourse with respect to the law so that nobody goes um, to destroy properties or does anything that will torment our future and the peace we are enjoying. All right, so we're asking you the same question on Facebook. Uh, James Sabusanga says, protesting a decision made by government is not bad, but it shouldn't be politically motivated as it stands now. What are our law courts doing? They should take it there. Sebastian Abassana says the protest is in the right sense, but their struggle may not yield anything fruitful because the MPP have the majority in parliament. They will soon vote uh, party to the pain of other Ghanaians. And Megula Top says it will go a long way to show the displeasure of most Ghanaians against the deal. This demonstration can help the government to reconsider and renegotiate the deal. Walanyo says, please join us. They have every right to demonstrate a thousand times a day. But the question is, now who costs them? Nanado does no mistake. Inusa Bamba says, no difference. Who started it? And that's a question he's asking, Inusa. Abdelaimo says, I don't think it will make any change, though uh, it's not safe to me. Alassan says, Vim, I will join them. <laughs> but they have... Uh, they have what? They have all done the same. Beloved Sin says they should rather go to the American embassy and demonstrate there. Isaac Survivor says in the absence of nothing bad is good. I think it is just body exercise for good health. Well, how well do you know about theatre? Today is World Theatre Day and it is celebrated by those who see the value of and importance of theatre. What do you think can be done to revamp our theatre industry to make it more exciting? Theatre should be giving more attention just like the way the movie, the kind of movies too are giving much attention because theatre, it takes a lot of techniques or it takes a lot of uh, technical activities to put it together, unlike the movies where they rears and rears. But theatre, when you flop on the stage and that is there, so I think they should pay much attention to it. So we should hype it more because of late, the youth, we are all into movies, you know, music. And then if not that you told me today was World Theatre Day, I had no idea. I think we should just hype it more, make it more known, put it out there, social media. We should make good use of the social media. We should put it on faces where the youth usually go there, not those secluded places where you have to go somewhere and go somewhere and you mistakenly click on something before you find it. We should just give it more hype. Well, I think they should hype it more because right now, if you hadn't said it, I had no idea today was World Theatre Day. And you hardly ever hear of any kind of plays that are coming up. And most of us, the youth right now, we are more into movies, streaming movies to watch and probably downloading something or going to YouTube and then maybe going once in a while to the cinema. Because those things are hype. They tell us about it. Oh, this movie has come out, Black Panther. Look at the number of people who went to watch it. Assuming it had, theatre had that kind of publicity. Most people who actually want to go there to go and watch. 
All right, so on Facebook, Amankwa Percy says, I think the creative arts ministry should take over, like how the Bank of Ghana of late has been doing to the dying indigenous banks. Crazy Bati and Apostles comes in and says they should decentralize it. It's more of a cra cra and a cra. People in other regions also love comics in Tata. Mensa Brompa says, you too la. We are talking about Koku and Yidoho, so wait, I'm coming. Juliet says, research and produce our own stories into movies. They should stop copying movies and acting them. After Laimuru says, providing them with the needed logistics will help and will also patronize their items. Joseph Van Amwa says, build a theater in each region. And also, we need more and exciting script to show in the theaters. Tetisco says, uh, by building more theaters and art schools. And, uh, and uh, Megleto says, rebranding and expanding it to all the other regions will help boost it.